Hey everyone, Social Solipsist here for another episode of 52 and 52, and this week I'm taking a look at Marvelous Mistake. Now, I hope you'll excuse the, uh, the state of this video. Um, I am in the midst of moving. It is a very busy week at my new job for me right now, and uh, I am currently dealing with some, like, random crippling chest pain that showed up a couple of hours ago um, that I think is... A, bad muscle grouping I pulled or something like that, but man, it hurts like hell and makes it hard to breathe. Uh, so anyway, <laughs> excuse me for the moment. Um, so yeah, Marvelous Mistake. Um, I don't actually recall when I picked this up or if I picked it up intentionally. I think it's the kind of thing that would have caught my eye, um, but I think it's something I probably got on Humble in a pack at some point. Um, Anyway, it's it's a little bit different than what exactly I expected. I was expecting something that was a little more um, uh, like hardcore and strategic, and that's not to say that this is not hardcore nor strategic. It is uh, definitely punishing and those sorts of things, but it's a bit arcadey in its um, in its systems. Basically, you play as this. Uh, this woman, Miss Take, who um, inherits her aunt's something or other. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, basically, the whole story is about uh, how you are um, heisting museums. Um, and you do so just by, you know, picking up everything that's in a particular level and avoiding the guards and tricking them cleverly to follow you so that you can pick up everything and get out without being, you know, caught. Um, and it's a, it's a pretty interesting little thing for not being, you know, super deep or anything like that. Um, most of the mechanics are fairly simple. You walk around with the mouse, you can whistle, um, you have gadgets that you can chuck. Uh, you can run, but it often doesn't really make sense to do so. Um, it's all controlled with the mouse. Um, and as far as I've gotten, you you also have um, a second character you can play as to replay a bunch of the levels basically reconfigured um, to unlock further levels and so on and so forth. Um, and all in all, it's uh, a pretty fun little time if you've just got a couple of minutes to spare here or there. I mean, I, I played a whole bunch of it at once, um, so yeah, but uh, you can, I mean, you can get through a set of levels, um, you know, in a couple of minutes if you're, you know, if you're playing sensibly. Um, I have to admit that I'm not the best in all of this footage. I sometimes rush. I sometimes think I'm doing one thing and doing another. Um, the downside of it being all with the mouse is that, uh, you know, click versus click and hold and whether you're in cover and those sorts of things, it's all controlled by one button. So um, it can get a little wonky at times, but I mostly blame myself for that. I don't think the game's actually, you know, a problem in that in that regard. Um, I, I would also say that the music is... Uh, pretty solid, you know, um, it's, it does repeat for each particular level, um, so if you're stuck on one level and you're hearing the loop for the umpteenth time, um, you can, it can be a little grating of like, yes, I know, I haven't made any progress, thank you for reminding me, um, but at the same time it's decently composed and decently, um, you know, recorded, um, and adds a decent atmosphere to, to the whole thing. Uh, likewise, I really like the artistic style. Um, it's very, oh, I don't want to say minimalist, but like, it's it has a very, uh, you know, low poly feel with um, a lot of, you know, contrasting sharp colors and um, it's sort of a cartoony, exaggerated style in terms of design. Um, which I think really lends itself to this, you know, kind of heavily stylized, um, in terms of, you know, setting, stylized, uh, sort of, it, it, all, it all fits together nicely, is what I'm trying to say, very inarticulately. Um, 
uh, and it just it just comes together nicely, and it's uh, it, and it works well for the gameplay as well because you know the the simple simple visuals le lend themselves to um, you know being interpreted well from the isometric view. Anyway, uh, I'm already starting to get rambly, and we're only five minutes into this video, so I think I'm going to cut it fairly short. Um, I've been having a pretty good time, you know, playing a little bit of this. I don't know if I'll necessarily play a bunch more of it. Um, I started playing the levels as the secondary character and was starting to get sort of frustrated um, because it changes the rules a little bit and... Like I said, the game is definitely punishing. Um, it, def it, d it doesn't lend you a lot of... Uh, it doesn't give you a lot of leeway um, if you're, you know, screwing up. If you do get sighted, like with the red, the red exclamation point sighted, um, it's more or less a death sentence unless you are really good about, uh, you know, making it around a corner in the right amount of time. Um, and then it's still a little questionable. But anyway, I, ha I had a pretty good time with it. It wasn't exactly what I was expecting. I was expecting something that was a little more um, tactical, like maybe Invisible Ink or XCOM or something like that, although not turn-based, obviously. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I I've been having a good little time with it, and I will probably play a little bit more of it at some point or another. Anyway, thank you guys for watching yet another episode of 52 and 52. I have been the Social Solipsist. <laughs> Hopefully by next week's video I will be all settled, or more or less settled into my new place and have a slightly less hectic week. And I will see you guys next time.